Hi guys. I have some footage of my four and a half year old working with the golden beads. Pretty early on, it was one of the first times that he worked with the material. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the material first and introduce it to you in case you're not familiar with it. And then I will show you him actually working with it. So this is called the Montessori golden bead material. Okay, so first we have this box of beads. These are just individual beads. We call these the units. And then we have these. This is the way I would introduce it to him too. I just told him, let's count the beads. There's 10, we'll call this a 10 bar. So there's 10. And then I said, oh look, this is made up of 10 bars. Let's count how many 10 bars. And there's 10 of them. So I said, when we have 10 tens, it's called a hundred. So this is a hundred square. And the same thing over here. I said, wow, look, there's a big stack of hundred squares. Let's count how many hundred squares. And there's 10 of them. So I told him 10 hundred is the same as 1,000. This is a thousand cube. And then we would go through what's called a three period lesson. So first I would tell him, like I just did, tell him the names of everything. And then I would ask him to tell me where a certain one was. So can you please show me where the hundreds are or where the units are? And then finally I would go through and have him tell me what is the name of this? And he would say thousand. What is the name of this? Those are hundred squares, mama. Okay, and so on. So we would move on. Then we have the decimal card material. So we have big ones and small ones. These are our big ones. So there's a whole stack here. They go all the way down to 100. These are the tens cards, the unit cards. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. And then the thousand cards. So we would lay these out. And in my manual, I just checked today, it says to just say this is, you know, these are units, these are tens, whatever. But I thought that I had been taught somewhere else that it, to clarify between like the actual quantity of beads versus like the symbols that show us that quantity, um, I, I feel like it's better to say this says, like this says 10. So this is 10 this says 10. So that's the way that I've tried to present it. I don't always get it right. And so I laid all these out and then I would ask him the same things again. We would go over, these are the thousands, hundreds, tens, units. And then I would ask him, can you show me where the cards are that say hundreds? And then I would ask him, what are these cards called? And he would finally be able to say it on his own. And so that process can take a few days. And then once we get all of that done, we put it together. And you also try to point out how many zeros so they can learn to look for the zeros to tell. So then we just play games. We pretend that he's shopping. And you'll hear in the video, he says like, um, oh, they're clothing soon, mama, or they're almost out of stock on this one. So he really gets into that. And I'll send him um, with the box and the little bowls as his shopping cart and then he will bring me home what he needs and sometimes he will pretend to call me from the store and say mom can I bring you 300 instead of 200 and it's so fun he really gets into it so that's how we play it um, I have an extra bowl under the units bowl and so when we do this you'll see him laid out on the mat and then he has the extra bowl in his box so here is the footage of him actually doing it again he's four and a half he probably could have done this a little bit sooner, but this is when we're getting to it. Okay, what did you bring me? Um, um just what you ask. Oh, I see. <laughs> One, two, three hundred. Oh, can you bring me five hundred though? That's what I was really hoping for. Oh, five. How many do you have now? Oh, seven. Oh, I only need five hundred. So what I need to take away here. Mm 
That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, should we try another one? Okay, why don't you take those back to the hundred and then um, see if you can bring me home six tens. Yep, six tens is the same as 60. So maybe you can bring me home 60 or six tens. No, no units, just six tens, please. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I bought you home. One, two, three, four, five, six. You brought me home six. Thank you so much. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. You want to do another one? Um, yeah. Okay, why don't you take those back to the tens shop then? Yeah. Okay, Colty. Um, can you go back to the store? You mean Tyler? Oh, yes. Okay, Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Can you, this time, can you bring me... One thousand two hundred. And seven two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Must be. Do you remember what I asked for? Well, you said you were going to call someone and, and I don't remember if you, if you have any of yours. Oh, okay. What I was hoping for is 1,200. 1,200. Okay. So 1,200. Well, any of these ones? No tens, just 1,200. These ones? What are those? Oh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you have ten beads. They have ten ten bars, don't they? Mm -hmm. So that's the same as 100. So those are hundreds. So I was hoping for 1,200. So you want a wooden one? It doesn't matter. Whatever ones. Just 200. Okay. Okay, and what else did I need? Because I needed 200, and then what else? One. 1,200. Yep. So you have the 200, so we need the 1,000. 1,000? Yep. But when I'm done shopping, I'm going to need to ask a guy. Oh, okay. Oh, they're closing soon. Okay. So how many thousand do we have? Um, two. Oh, okay. I only need one thousand. Oh, one thousand. Okay. Okay, but you have one 
1,200. 1,200. Great job. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> If you guys have more questions about the materials or how to use them, I'm here to help you. Just leave me comments below. Um, find me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm married to the farm everywhere. Thank you guys.